Hi guys, in this video we want to talk about ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder and Nutritional Deficiencies, okay? If you're interested in alternatives and nutrition, so just watch this, this is important. Here are the symptoms, inattention, hyperactive, forgetfulness, temper tantrum, sleep disorder, aggressive behavior, okay? If your child has this or you have this, um, here's what it is. It's, a, it's mainly a B vitamin deficiency and low vitamin D, okay? Um, if you're deficient in B12, you're gonna have a lot of problems with neurotransmitters. That would be serotonin for your mood, for sleep, uh, dopamine for your emotions, uh, adrenaline for the inability to sit there comfortably for a period of time. So you're, you're gonna feel anxious all the time. Uh, so here are the deficiencies. You can get fatigued, depressed, memory problems. Like try to, try to study in school when you have a B12 deficiency. It's almost impossible. Vitamin B6 deficiency. This controls concentration. It calms the nervous system down. And if you're deficient, you're going to be hyper and you're going to like fly off the handle very easily. So then we have vitamin B1. Vitamin B1 mainly controls blood sugars, but if you're deficient, you're gonna have a lot of stress built up. You're gonna feel very restless. You're not gonna be able to feel comfortable. And your mind's gonna race. No wonder these kids are having a hard time. Irritable, sleep, distracted easily, and you're not gonna be able to learn, okay? Vitamin B3 affects the cognitive function. That's forgetfulness, memory issues, depression, and then we have vitamin D. If that's low, you're going to get depressed. You have memory problems and even like rage. That's, some, that's one of the symptoms. So these are the nutrients that really affect your cognitive function. And yes, you can get these nutrients in fish and eggs and meat and cheese. And, but here, here's the big issue. Um, it's not necessarily just that you're not getting it from the diet. These kids are eating things that are depleting these nutrients. So take a wild guess what food will deplete these nutrients. Do you have any ideas? I'll tell you. It's refined carbohydrates. It's refined grains in the form of breads, pasta, cereal, crackers, biscuits, waffles, pancakes, muffins, things like that, and actual sugar, high fructose corn syrup. So if we combine sugar with refined carbohydrates, that makes up a lot of the diet for some of these kids. So you're gonna just, these are gonna be sucked out like a vacuum cleaner and then you're wondering why they're acting up. It's basically the food that's going in their mouth. So not to mention even the blood sugar swings. If the blood sugar goes up, they're gonna get tired. If it goes down, they're gonna be very edgy and irritable, and they're not gonna be able to uh, be sane. They're gonna, like, just go shopping, go grocery shopping when your child is hungry and tired. That's what you're gonna experience. So what are you gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna put a link down on what these kids should eat, okay? And unfortunately, you may have started them out too late as far as getting them used to eating healthy, and now it's like you have to change this thing and they might kick and scream, but honestly, you're gonna to have to um, make some changes. To get the B vitamins in their body, nutritional yeast is what you need to get, okay? And you'd get it in a powder form, and you'd have to mix it with something. Put it in peanut butter. You know, you may have to put some unsweetened chocolate in there just to, to drown the taste out, but we gotta get the B vitamins back in their body. Um, but I'll put a video down below of some ideas of foods that you can eat. You're gonna have to like make healthy recipes. I already have that solved, so you can make different desserts for your kids. So that way they can feel like they're getting something sweet, but it's, there's no sugar in it, okay? But you're gonna have to make the change and you'll start seeing these kids, their attention will be better and better and concentration will be better. And, um, but the, the psychiatrist is not looking at the nutritional aspects of this at all. Uh, and it's, you can switch, uh, flip things overnight if you can just change the diet. So I put some links down below. You're gonna have to start setting up on what to feed these kids and what to avoid and start to implement this and just bite the bullet. It's gonna help. All right, thanks for watching. Press the, okay, geez, let me do that over again. Press the subscribe button, press just press this button right here, subscribe, okay? That one right there. Just do it right now. Hey, if you're enjoying my videos, press the subscribe button below and I will keep you updated on the future events. Thank you so much.